Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video we have an iPhone 6s not turning on for data recovery, came from another service shop and we will try to take the information out of it. And of course, first thing that we'll do in this video is to connect the phone to the power supply. Let me just move the position of the camera up to show you the power supply, how it's turning on. And this process is always uh, the first thing to do because if the phone is not turning on or not charging or there is nothing on the screen, we always connect the phone to the power supply. Let's just zoom in. Here we are. And hold the power button. Oh, and as you can see, uh, zero. 79 78 milliamps that's not good for a uh, startup boot for the iphone and of course uh, now we will go and remove the board from the body and see what the hell is going on and if we can uh, take the information out of this phone so let's go Alrighty, now we remove the board and let's see what we're going to deal with Let's start with the connectors over here. There's something stuck between the tooth, between the connector of the 3D touch. I call it the tooth because it's the tooth of the connectors that uh, soldered with the pins. Let's just remove it. Here we are. All good. And Everything looks clean. Let's go a little bit down, zoom out. Here we are, everything looks clean. And let's go to the other side. And as you can see, always, in my case, if the phone came from another service, and oh my goodness, what we have here. Holy shit. I mean, what the fuck. It's like, for me, it's a what the fuck moment. <laughs> Uh, I've done a lot of phones like that and even worse so uh, always uh, when the phone comes from another service the anti-hit stickers they're always just not there and as you can see under the YouTube chip oh my goodness holy shooty shooty shitty be shitty hole that's a shithole, like literally that's a shithole. So I have to deal with it and have to do the work again, remove everything, clean everything. And for my luck, it's just the a data recovery phone. So if there's something else will not work, it's not my problem. I'm just going to make the phone to turn on and take the, all the information that I need and give it to the customer and then he can deal with the phone for himself. So this is, uh, this is my responsibility for this phone that I have to deal with today in this video. And I'm gonna clean everything and start from the beginning by removing the YouTube chip and the audio amplifier and everything near the, these two chips. So let's go. Okay, now let's go to the ZXW program and see what are the lines that shorted and uh, what we have to clean and change. Okay, let's go over here. This is our YouTube chip, the damaged chip. And as you can, as you can see, there is a solder between the TriStar bypass line and the other capacitor, which is the other line is the ground. So there is a shorted line which is the tricer bypass and also those two components which is uh, from the other line over here USB AP data N to USB AP data P which are not connected together but in our case they are connected and every line goes to the processor and I'm also going to remove the U3800 uh, just to uh, check what uh, what's happening under the IC to see if everything is okay or not. 
but our main uh, chip that uh, we are going to change it we, uh, it is the u4500 which is the youth chip and uh, yeah and also i would like to mention that i saw a lot <laughs> worse boards than uh, than that and uh, a lot of services in my area and also in the world in the world thinks that uh, when the phone is dead or not turning on it's always the uh, youth chip uh, chip that caused this uh, problem but in my case uh, it is the u4500 for the iphone 6s but it actually uh, something else which leads to a bad diagnostic and also bad work so try to avoid those kinds of services shop to avoid losing your phone and your data now let's begin our work and i will speed forward the process and i will catch you after our work is done so let's go
now that our work is done we will go and connect the board to the power supply to see if the short is gone and our work is okay and yes i didn't solder the audio amplifier back because i want to check if the phone works first so i can take the information out of it let's check i connect the screen also to see if there's an app logo and now let's zoom in a little bit to the power supply here we go and as you can see oh zero zero one milliamps so that's bad the phone is not turning on now my guess is the processor or the power supply but because of the iPhone 6s uh, has a lot of common issues with the uh, power management PMU the main power management I'm gonna guess the power management 001 milliamps does say so so yes as you can see just 001 milliamps on the power supply now I'm going to try to heat up a little bit on the power supply so don't try this if you don't know what I'm going to do and as you can see the phone is turning on with normally and I guess there's an up logo still no I'm just going to connect the power supply again now if you if you are going to do um, to heat up the processor or the power management uh, please if you don't know how you do this uh, try not to do it it's just for that recovery stuff I don't want to make a board swap for board swap because first it's very hard on the iPhone 6s and I don't have the comfortability to do it and as you can see there is an Apple logo but it disappears immediately because the power management is broken I guess or uh, as I said before is a common problem on the iPhone 6s with the power management main power management so my guess is that the other service didn't know that is a power management issue so they just uh, fucked everything up with the, uh, with the YouTube chip and the main problem was the power management uh, power management I see the main power management I see so I will try to heat up the power management again and take the information out of it because it does not worth to do a board swap for this phone now we remove the info from the phone it was a little tricky but again it was a very helpful method to just try to hit up the PMU a little bit to get the phone back to work and I know if you're going to say why just not change the PMU first is that because the customer only needs the data and he's already bought a new phone and second there is a slightly chance that I'm going to mess up the RAM or the processor from the other side so if uh, you know what are you doing try this if you don't do a board swap I'm trying in the near future to knowledge the board swap on all iPhones and if you don't know just don't do it you can even mess up the phone even more I'm going to put a short video of the phone working and I'm taking the info out of it as you can see the phone is backing up from iTunes and the data is safe and yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and stay safe and have a good day